Guys, let's talk about convenience stores in Japan because I freaking love convenience stores in Japan. So when I think of convenience stores in Australia, you know, I think of like bland food, you know, poorly trained staff and wage theft to name a few things. But then I came to Japan. As most of you who've been to Japan would know, convenience stores freaking rock. They're nothing short of remarkable. They're graced with an extensive product range, reasonable prices, and very attentive store staff. So how did convenience stores in Japan all begin? Where did it all start? To my surprise, convenience stores or konbinis haven't been in Japan all that long. The first konbini opened up in 1969, which is just over 50 years ago. Five years later, in May of 1974, Ito Yokado Co. from Japan and Southland Corporation from the US joined forces to launch the first 7-Eleven in Japan. The store was located in Koto in Tokyo. Following this, 7-Eleven experienced astronomical growth in Japan, and this was a result of combining US management practices with a local penetration strategy. The local penetration strategy focused on creating unique convenience store food suitable for Japanese people. Today, the most common example of this is the tuna mayo onigiri, which if you haven't had one yet, I would stop this video right now and go the heck try one. Today there are dozens if not more onigiri flavors to choose from, ranging from wasabi to pickled plum. If you've been to Japan and you've tried the onigiri at 7-Eleven or any other convenience store, please let me know in the comment which one is your favorite. By 1980, 7-Eleven had expanded from its first store in 1974 to 10,000 stores across Japan. Part of this success was attributable to the company's point of sale system. 7-Eleven had implemented a comprehensive sales system where deliveries were being made multiple times a day, and each 7-Eleven was given autonomy to manage its stock on a day-to-day -day basis. But as you would know, 7-Eleven wasn't the only player in what I'm calling the Konbini race. Family Mart opened its first store in Sayama Saitama in 1973, actually before 7-Eleven, and Lawson opened its first store in June of 1975 in Osaka. Now each chain had its own way of trying to break into the Japanese market, but they all did exceptionally well. Some chains even decided to open up multiple locations in the same spot to sort of monopolize a certain area. So if you can only see one chain after several blocks or even several miles on a road trip, that's the reason why. In the early 1990s, Japan fell into a bit of a recession and you'd think that that might slow down the convenience store market, but it didn't. The convenience store market just continued to grow. Family Mart, the only chain out of the big three that was born in Japan, expanded overseas. Today, it has over 8,000 stores in countries like China, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, Thailand, and Vietnam. In the end, 7-Eleven came out on top. Today, it has 21,341 stores in operation in Japan alone. This represents 30% of 7-Eleven stores globally, making Japan the biggest market for 7-Eleven in the world. Family Mart ain't too shabby. They clock in at second place with 16,451 stores in Japan, followed by Lawson with 14,633 stores. Now, before I wrap up this video, I wanted to dive in a little deeper into Lawson. Lawson was born out of Ohio in the United States in 1939. The founder, JJ Lawson, was a dairy farmer who ran Mr. Lawson's Milk Store. He later went on to establish Lawson Milk Co., which snowballed quickly into a chain of stores across America. It was so successful that in 1959, Consolidated Foods, which today we know as Sarah Lee, acquired JJ Lawson's company. In 1985, Sarah Lee sold the stores to Dairy Mart, retiring the Lawson name and rendering the original company defunct. The end result, Lawson barely exists in America today. Wait, so if Lawson is defunct in America, how is it still operating in Japan? Well, in 1974, before the fall of Lawson, Consolidated Foods signed an agreement with a retail company in Japan known as Dae. Under that agreement, the first Lawson stores were opened in Japan. Dae established a subsidiary, Dae Lawson Company Limited, in 1975. Today, Mitsubishi Corporation is the majority shareholder of that company. Now, I'm not sure what the exact terms of that legal agreement were, but it's allowed the Lawson name to continue to exist in Japan separate to whatever was happening in the US, the more you know. Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference between 7-Eleven, Lawson, and Family Mart in Japan? Well, actually, they share more similarities than dissimilarities. I mean, there's a subtle difference in products and food choices available, but that's true even of two convenience stores 
running under the same name. Probably the most commonly quoted difference relates to fried chicken. 7-Eleven has Seven Chicky, Family Mart has Fami Chicky, and Lawson has Parry Chicky. It's a hot debate as to which of these taste the best, I'll let you decide. Finally, there are some spin-off brands for these convenience store chains. 7-Eleven has a premium line called Seven Premium. Under this label, high quality products are sold, which are comparable to specialty stores. Lawson has operated Lawson 100 stores since 2005. Products are priced at 100 yen plus the 10 yen sales tax, making it an even more budget-friendly option for convenience store lovers. That's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video on convenience stores in Japan. I freaking love convenience stores in Japan. I'm probably gonna go to one right now. Just kidding. I live on an island. I mean, we have convenience stores. We just don't have the big three, so. Why am I, why did I even come to Japan? Kidding. Anyway, until next time, keep slurping those ramen and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.